the calm before the storm. Some last minute preparations as England focus on a pivotal World Cup qualifier against Montenegro. An intimidating atmosphere is likely to greet Roy Hodgson's men, the Tuesday's Group H clash in Podgorica. But tensions are already simmering. I've read in the papers some statements from English players complaining about the way the pitch will behave. As far as I know, the English have always favoured the long ball. You are obviously more scared of this game than we are. It really doesn't bother me what people say and I'm certainly not going to, to uh, get involved in any discussions about how we play vis-a-vis -vis how other people think we play. We work hard at our game. We're happy that the game we play is a game which we think will give us a chance to win matches and how other people want to describe it's entirely up to them. 12,000 Montenegrins are expected to will their country on to victory, who can extend the lead over second place England to five points should they do so. Hostilities boiled over the last time the countries met in 2011, with Wayne Rooney seeing red. And the Montenegro boss knows the pressure is on their high-profile guests. I can say that such English legends and journalists are already trying to resort to excuses for what will happen tomorrow. Everything seems to bother you. I'm surprised that he, he thinks that defeat won't hurt Montenegro. Most coaches feel that defeats hurt them at all levels of football. Um, if he's suggesting that you know we should accept the burden of being favourites to win the game, then we'll accept it. Both sides come into the game on the back of victories, but each against a rather different class of opposition. England hit eight days past San Marino, while Montenegro will be looking to build on a 1-0 victory over Moldova.